Christ alone, cornerstone. Let the weak will be made strong. The weak will be made strong. Jesus, you are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Holy Spirit will acknowledge your presence. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your presence. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your presence. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, take absolute control. Take Take absolute control. Holy Spirit, wake our brethren, wake our brethren. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. You are our faithful partner. You are our faithful partner. You are our faithful partner. Hallelujah. May the weak be made strong this morning. May the weak be made strong this morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm Pastor Daniel. Pastor Daniel. Connect, connect, connect. Connect, beloved, connect, connect, connect. It's one hour of prayer, one hour prayer, one hour prayer. This is Fountain of Agape Mission Center. Another week, another day. Hallelujah. My Bible said this is the day the Lord has made. Let the children of God be glad and be rejoicing. Hallelujah. If you are a child of God, hallelujah, I come this morning to tell you, let gladness fill your heart. Let gladness fill your heart. Gladness will fill your heart. Gladness will fill your heart. Gladness will fill your heart. Yes, beloved, Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Therefore, let us come together and honor him. Let us come together and honor him and honor him. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Connect, connect, beloved. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will wake our brother, our sister. The Holy Spirit will wake the children of God. When the trumpet will sound. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, we are waiting for you to connect, beloved. Connect, connect. And invite and invite others to connect. Invite, invite. Share the link. Share the link. Share the link. Let us share the link. Let us share the link. Share the link. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Share the link, beloved. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, Buna Dimineta, Buna Dimineta, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Buenos Dias, Buenos Dias, Hallelujah, Kalabuko Rika Sata Abarisa Asubuhi, Abarisa Asubuhi, God bless you, God bless you, you that are connected, you that are connected, invite somebody to invite somebody to invite somebody, let us do the work of an evangelist, let us do the work of an evangelist. Send the word where you can go. Send the word, send the word. We have to send the word where we cannot go, beloved. The Bible says uh, in Psalm 107, 107 verse 3. Psalm 107 verse 3. It says we should send the word. We should send the word. Hallelujah. So, this is a new week. The week 
Hallelujah. We are heading. We are heading to the end of the month. We, this is a week of uh, even Christmas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Christmas is just around the corner. So let us connect, beloved. Let us connect and invite our brothers and sisters to connect. Hallelujah. Share the link, beloved. Share the link. Let us do the work of an evangelist. It says send the word. Someone is sick somewhere. Someone is in trouble somewhere. May the word of God that is full of power, the word of God that can land in every territory, every situation. Hallelujah. The Bible is urging us to send the word. Send the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us do the work of an evangelist in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For you that are connected, God bless you. God bless you mightily. God bless you mightily. God bless you mightily. Bless you mightily. Sana to the highest. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Gracias, 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 gracias. Take your position, fasten your seatbelt because today is the first day of this week. We're going to be here tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's not even much. Hallelujah. So, fasten your seatbelt, beloved. Challenge yourself this week. Challenge yourself this week. Say, Pastor, we're going to come together. We're going to agree. It. We're going to agree it. Yes, because, hallelujah, if you want God to change your situation, if you want God to change your statue, you have to pick yourself up. You have to challenge yourself. We have to challenge ourselves, beloved. We have to challenge. Say to yourself, I will challenge myself this week. I will challenge myself this week. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning. Bonjourno, bonjourno. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pray, pray, pray. Thank God. Thank God for waking you up this morning. Thank God for waking you up this morning. Father, we thank you. Lord, we come to pray. Lord, we come to give you honor. Lord, we come to, hallelujah, stand at the gap for our nation, for our family, for our brother and sister. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Yes, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Do me a favor, beloved. Do me a favor. Please continue to share the link. I want to see you share the link. I want to see you share the link. Oh, Zana. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit wake us up. Let the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit wake someone up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say your statue, your statue must change. Your statue must change before the end of this year. Yes. Gracias. 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 Gracias, buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, hallelujah, senora, senorita, amigo, hallelujah, hombre, good morning, good morning, yes, to estado de Cambria, to estado de Cambria, yes, thank you for tuning in. We're going to look at Deuteronomy 26 this morning. Deuteronomy 26. Deuteronomy 26. We're going to look at Deuteronomy 26. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope your Bible is with you. Good morning, you that are connected. Hallelujah. I can see. I can see. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Tell somebody to tell somebody. Hallelujah. In Africa, in Spain, in Romania. Hallelujah. Say that... Our statue will change. Your statue will change. That means what? That means your story will change. God will change your story before the end of this year. Before the end of this month. You may be saying that, oh, pastor, the end of the year is just around the corner. The end of the year. But God will change your story in the name of Jesus. I said your story must change. Say to God, say that prayer, change my story, Lord. Let my story change, Lord. Let my story change. Yes, for your story to change, beloved, this is the secret. The secret is obedience. The secret is what? Obedience. The key of for your statue to change is obedience. So pray this prayer. Help me to pray this prayer. Oh, Lord, Father, I want to obey your word. Help me, help me to obey your word. By myself, I, 
I'm, I'm always failing. I'm always failing. But Lord, with your help, help me. Help me. Change my story. Yes, yes. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Stadria dos tribuis sases chimbe caliburu kusaka to estados de becambria. <laughs> yes, God will change somebody's status, status, status. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Last obedience, la obedience, la obedience, la obediencia, la obediencia es la primera. La obediencia es la primera clave. Eh, Maria? Obedience is the key. Key for your story to change this morning. Hallelujah. Father, I pray. I pray that put the spirit of obedience. Yes, I want the spirit of obedience to fill my heart. To fill my heart. Yes, I want to obey your word. But something is always happening. Oh Lord, I want to go into your house, but something is always happening. Yes, Lord, I want to tune into prayer, but something is always happening. Father, I pray that oh my story will change. Let my story change. Let my statue change. I want to come out of laziness. I want to come out of lukewarmness, I want to come out of this sleepless, eh, sleepness in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the primary key is obedience, beloved. Obedience, obedience. Asculta reality, primary. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Please, God bless you, God bless you. Yes, somebody say bonjour, papa. Yes, bonjour, bonjour, bien aimé. Je dis, nous allons voir Deutéronome 26, 1 à 10. Deutéronome 26, 1 à 10. Yes. Quand Israël était parti en Égypte, ils étaient en petit nombre. La Bible dit qu'ils étaient en petit nombre. Mais ils se sont multipliés. Leur statut a changé. Ils se sont multipliés. Alléluia. Ils se sont multipliés. Après, après, this prayer, this prayer, après, this prayer. Yes. Yes, your beginning may be small. Your beginning may be small. But your end will be greater. Your end will be greater than your beginning in the name of Jesus. Yet, in that verse, Deuteronomy 26, it said, The children of Jacob, the children of Jacob, they went to Israel, to Egypt, to Egypt. They were in small number, in small number, but they become numerous, 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 numerous. Hallelujah. Numerous in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I say your situation will change. Your situation will change. Your situation will change. Your situation will change. When they arrived in Egypt, hallelujah, they, 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 they said they were few, only few in numbers. But in Egypt, they became mighty and numerous in the name of Jesus. Yes, we may be few in numbers. We may be few in numbers, beloved. We may be few in numbers. Nous pouvons être un petit nombre. Mais, alléluia, alléluia. If on sera beaucoup nombreux. Yes, nombreux, nombreux, nombreux. But something happened, beloved. But something happened. But something happened. The Bible says the Egyptian, the mistreated them, the Egyptian, they humiliated them. The Egyptian, they used them as their slave. Ouh, calabore, kaseke. Ah, que je te lise ça, je te lise ça. Deutéronome chapitre 26. Je commence par verset 1. Vous allez pénétrer dans le pays que le Seigneur, vous, votre Dieu, vous accorde et vous en prendrez possession. Quand vous y serez installés, chacun de vous prélèvera une partie des premiers, des premiers produits du de, de sol qu'il aura fait pousser dans le pays donné par le Seigneur, 
il le déposera dans une corbeille et la portera au lieu choisi par l'Éternel, votre Dieu, pour y manifester sa présence. Yes, you see the condition of your obedience. This, they have to obey this word, this word that God has told them. Yes, Maria, thank you for sharing. Comparte, comparte uh, in life. Yes, comparte. Yes, distribue l'incul, distribue l'incul. Continue à partager. Oh, hallelujah. Dieu les a donné instruction quand ils sont arrivés. Alléluia. Dieu les a donné instruction. Quand tu arriveras dans ce pays, prends les prémices. Prends les prémices. Va donner dans la maison de Dieu. Va donner à l'homme de Dieu. Alléluia. Alléluia. Mais la Bible dit dans le verset 5, quand ils sont arrivés, ouh, aïe, ils étaient petits en nombre. Verset 5, il dit, il est rendu en Égypte et il a d'abord séjourné avec le petit groupe de gens qui l'accompagnaient. Ceux-ci ont formé par la suite une grande nation puissante. En... Alléluia. Une grande nation puissante. Une grande nation puissante. I say, even though we are few, we are few. God use few people. God use but few. To do greater things in the name of Jesus. I say, God will use you. God will use you. Don't say, I know nothing. Don't say, uh, Oh, I'm alone. No, no, no. God will use you. I said, They were few. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for choosing me. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me. Merci de m'avoir choisi. Merci de m'avoir choisi. Merci de m'avoir choisi. Hallelujah. He dit, même comme ils, ils devenaient nombreux, ils devenaient nombreux, mais les Égyptiens les, a maltraités, les ont maltraités. Yes, que je te lise ça. Verset 6. Mais les Égyptiens nous ont maltraités, opprimés. Seigneur, Dieu de nos ancêtres, aïe, 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 nous ont brutalisés. Nous ont brutalisés, opprimés. Nous ont brutalisé, opprimé. Yes, I read yesterday there is a prayer request that we should pray for China, for the Christians that have been maltreated in China, beloved. It's happening till today. It's happening till today. Christians have been maltreated. Christians have been marginalized. Christians have been discriminated. Christians have been rejected as solid. Oh, calore, caseke. I can see somebody praying this morning. I can see somebody praying this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, let us pray for Christians that have been maltreated, that have been discriminated, that have been killed in the world, in, in, in the whole world, in the whole world. Father, we thank you. There are places that they just send them, uh, 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 they write the verses, the, the, the Bible verses in, in a slip paper, a slip paper, and then they give them, when they read it, they have to tear it down, because if the government, if the, 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 the Their, their enemy sees it, oh, they will just kill them straight away. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. you. That's why you have to memorize the word of God. That's why you have to read the word of God. Because there will be a time, beloved, there will be a time when they see you with Bible, they will cut your head in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. They're beheading people in China. In, in, in the name of Hallelujah. Yes, pray, pray, pray for our beloved that have been that have been persecuted with but because of Jesus, because they believe in Jesus, because they are following Jesus, because they are preaching Jesus. Pray yes. that prayer, pray that prayer for all those that have been persecuted, all those that have been persecuted, discriminate, humiliated. Hallelujah. They say they beat them, they put the picture of one pastor. Bound, the banting with the rope, beat him, is blooding. Calabore, yes, yes, yes. But verse 8, beloved, verse 8, verse 8, give us hope. He said, The Lord brought them out of Egypt with his mighty hands. I said, The Lord will bring you out of that humiliation. You will come out of that humiliation with your head. Lifted, you will come out of 
that humiliation, that discrimination. That's why I say your statue must change. Our statue must change. God took them from Egypt to the land flowing with honey. Yes, you're going to meditate on that verse. Deuteronomy 26. Beloved, if you obey, you obey the word of God. It will take you to the land. Yes, dear goodness. Yes, jump, 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 jump. Hey, we pray that those that are still sleeping should jump from their bed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Sister Maria. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless all our viewers. God bless you. We are standing at the gap for the Christian that have been persecuted around the world around the world beloved it's not just sickness it's we're going to send the word that those that are in prison those that are hiding he labore kaseke may the lord guard and protect them may the lord protect their family many of men of god children of god are in the places that they are hiding they can't come out publicly they can't come out as we do hallelujah but just because of jesus they have been persecuted they have been discriminated they have been rejected they have been put in prison they have been killed in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. He say you brought them out. You brought them out from Egypt. Yes, you take them out of that slavery. You will take us out. You will take your children out of the slavery, to, out of persecution, inequality, inequality, inequality. Hallelujah. Pray, pray, pray. The Lord brought them out out of egypt verse 9 verse 9 it said he gave them this land flow he gave them this line flowing will make and honey mm -hmm. yes lord yes lord your statue will change you will the lord will take you to the land that honey and milk are flowing in the name of jesus may the lord take you out of that situation may the lord take you he said with his mighty hand let me read verse 8 for you let me read verse 8 in french il nous a fait sortir d'egypte en recourant à des exploits irrésistibles et terrifiants à des prodiges extraordinaires let me read verse 8 beloved verse 8 verse 8 verse 8 so the lord brought us out of egypt with amazing power yes you have been maltreated yes you have been terrified but the lord will conquer your enemy the lord will conquer your enemy in the name of jesus he said he will take you verse 9 he brought us to this place and gave us this land flowing with milk and honey do you remember remember he said bring bring to the priest bring to the men of god your thanksgiving yes this that's why we are talking about 12 months thanksgiving 12 months thanksgiving he said when you get to that land when you get to that land put something aside the first products the first hmm, put some of the first produce from each harvest into the basket and bring it <clears throat> to the place the lord your god chooses for his name to be honored go to the priest in charge at that time and say to him with this gift I acknowledge that the Lord your God has brought me into the land. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved, you have to say something when you give in the house of God. When you put your tithe in the envelope, write something. Say, I'm bringing this gift because the lord have done this i'm bringing this because the lord have done this this is what he's saying in deuteronomy 26 beloved hallelujah pray that prayer pray that prayer may the lord will give you we bring you out of that situation out of poverty out of uh, joblessness out of barrenness 
out of uh, uh, shame. Yes, your enemy have rejected you know, your friend. Your friend have rejected you. Your family have rejected you. Yes, the Lord will bring you out of that shame with his mighty hand. With his mighty hand. With his mighty hand. With his mighty hand. I pray this prayer this morning. May the Lord bring you out of, of that uh, humiliation. That humiliation, you will come out, your head lifted, your head lifted, you will come out, you will come out, the Lord will usher you to the land that flowing with milk and honey. Yes, when I jump to Deuteronomy 28, I can see the same word that God says, obey, if you obey my word, if you obey my word, if we obey the word of God, fully obey, it says fully obey, fully obey. Obedita, obedita completamente. Yes, obedita, obedita completamente. Completamente adios. Obedita completamente adios. Yes, fully obey the word of God. Yes, if he say bring the offering, you fully obey. If he say bring the tithe, you fully obey. He say if you fully obey. 28, 28, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Si vous obéissez fidèlement au Seigneur, votre Dieu. Si vous veillez à mettre en pratique tous les commandements qu'il vous a donné. Yes, fully obey. Not partial, not half, not 80%. 100%. You fully obey. You say, this is what I'm going to do. The Lord will exalt you. That means it will increase you in number. It will wipe your tears in the name of Jesus. That is our prayer this morning. That if you fully obey the word of God, may the Lord wipe your tears. May the Lord wipe your tears. May the Lord wipe your tears. The enemy thinking that you will be crying all day long, all year long, all months long, all week long. No, the Lord will wipe your tears. The Lord will wipe your tears. Because he says that, he said the Lord will conquer your enemy. He will, I will conquer your enemy, says the Lord. I will read Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1. From verse 1. It says, Si vous mettez en pratique les commandements du Seigneur votre Dieu, si vous obéissez, il fera de vous un peuple qui lui appartient. Ou collaborer, He said, He will make you to be his people, to be his. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I can see somebody jump, jump with joy. I can see somebody jumping with joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, there are full, full potential when we obey the word of God. Obedete, obedete compartmenta, compartmente a Dios. Yes, que la roque sataba roque seque. Asculta pe de de Domnezo asculta pedeplin de domnezo fully obey the word of God fully obey God the Lord will exalt you I pray this morning may the Lord exalt you may the Lord lift you up may the Lord dress a table in front of your enemy may he, he say he will he will bless your tongue and he will bless your city you see our obedience bring blessing to the town your obedience will bring blessing to your street where you live where you live your neighbors in the name of jesus your your obedience alone your obedience alone make god to look after your street to look after your country to look after your nation just because you obey him you because you obey him you will be blessed with many children Yes, you will be blessed with many children. I pray this prayer. Yes, no barren, barren woman. The Bible says no barren woman will be mentioned among you. No barrenness, no barrenness. Yes, no barrenness. You may be seen, you may be seen your basket is not full. It say it will fill your basket. Your basket will be blessed. Your storehouse will be full. Your storehouse will be full. Your products, your products, you will be productive. 
productive and pray this prayer this morning be productive be productive i can see somebody say amen thank you jesus thank you lord you will be productive before the end of this year you will see your basket increase you will see your basket increase you will see your basket increase but the secret is fully obey the word of god Fully obey the word of God. Obedete compartmente adios tika lore kaseke as kulta pe de pline de dumnezie. Hallelujah. Obeir au commandement que Dieu nous donne. Obeir au commandement donné par Dieu. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ça c'est le secret, ça c'est le secret pour que nous bénéficions de tous les bienfaits que Dieu nous a promis, pour que ton statut change, que ton statut change. I say your statue will change, your story will change. God will rewrite your story before the end of this year. May God rewrite your story before the end of the year. God will put smile on your face, laughter in your, your mouth, in the name of Jesus. Your heart, your heart will collaborate. I can see somebody this morning, your, your heart is heavy. Your heart is heavy even to pray. Your heart is heavy to sing him. Your heart is heavy. But I've come to tell you this morning, may the Lord wipe your tears. May the Lord wipe your tears. You will not, you, you cry no more. You will cry no more. You will cry no more. Because of what? Because the Lord will bless you. Bless anything you do. He will bless anything you do. Your job, your job, your job. You may, they may be saying that they're going to close your company because of this pandemic. They are closing many companies. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He walks his way. We cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God, hold me closely to his arm, with love and strength for each new day, for each new day. He will make a way, he will make a way. He said, I am doing a new thing. Are you not perceiving it? I am doing a new thing. Are you not seeing it? Oh, Father Lord, open the eyes of somebody to see new things you are doing to see new things you are doing. Thank God for the church to be to come together again. Thank God. I was happy to see you on Sunday. I was happy to see you last Sunday. God, we give God all the glory. We give God all the adoration in the name of Jesus. He said, the Lord will fill your storehouse with grain. The Lord will fill your storehouse with grain. The Lord will bless your basket. The Lord will, you will be productive. No barrenness. The Lord will bless you with many children. Yes, we pray for our children this morning. The enemy tried to use our children even against us. The enemy tried to chase our children away. The enemy tried to snatch our children from you, but the Lord will restore, we restore, we restore, we restore. You will be restored, you will be restored. Be restored into your ministry. Be restored into your ministry. Be restored into your life of prayer. Be restored into your life of meditation. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Apostle, you come and continue. Don't go away. See you tonight, tonight. Bible study. Don't forget. 6 30. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for connecting and thank you for waking up this morning. Hallelujah. We don't want to take this time for granted. It is a gift for us to wake up this morning. It's a gift. Hallelujah. We thank all of us that are up this morning. We just want to thank God for, for His grace. Thank God for His grace. Thank God for His love. Thank God for, for His uh, faithfulness, faithfulness, hallelujah, just start thanking God for this first time, hallelujah, the first day as a man of God, the first day, first day, first food, first offering, hallelujah, glory be to God, we thank God for everything, we don't want to take this time for God, we don't want to take it for granted, it is a gift of God, if God did not tell you to wake up, hallelujah, and you obey, he will tell us to wake up and we don't obey, but when God says wake up and connect to the platform of prayer and you obey, you are, you are 
blessing is double. Say my blessing is double. double, double. My blessing is double. double, double. My blessing is double. double. Hallelujah. Double. Because I've obeyed the word of I've obeyed the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. We can we can listen to what God is telling us, but we don't obey. But when we obey, He say, I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. Hallelujah. So therefore, this morning, our blessing is double. Your blessing is double. My blessing is double. Hallelujah. So I will bless you double. I will bless you double. Double, double. Double blessing because of obedience. Obedience is the key. When the Lord says, do this and you do mm -hmm. it, you are blessed. Because God is, do, is testing our faith. By telling us to give our first food, our 12 months uh, Thanksgiving, he is testing us. There's something hidden behind the, the thing. Hallelujah. As the man of God have just said, this is Phantom of Agape Mission. We are on air every Tuesday to Friday. It's not too much. Only one hour, Tuesday to Friday. I got friends that are on air every day, three times a week. I mean, three times a day or two times a day, but their members are faithfully connecting with them because they know that is where they are going to tap their blessing. That's where they are going to grow spiritually. Hallelujah. So one hour in the morning is not too much. One hour, only one hour is God doing it in our life. Hallelujah. We thank God for everything. We thank God for this month of December. We have been faithfully, faithfully, faithfully working by faith to achieve the purpose of which the Lord has called us. So that's for, that's why we got this passage that the man of God has given us. Hallelujah. Said your story will change. I want my story to change. Tell, speak it to yourself. That I want my story to change. Speak it as you mean it. I want my story to change, Lord. I want my story to change. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm fed up of stagnity. I'm fed up of going backward. I am fed up. I want my story to change. Pray that prayer. Lord, change my story this December. I don't want to carry every he any heavy load to January. No. I want to bury every negativity, every discouragement, any prayerlessness, purposelessness, lack of focus, lack of focus, lack of vision, lack of mission. I want to bury it. I bury it this December. I don't want to take it next week, next year. So therefore, my story must change. My my story must change. Hallelujah. Change my story. Change my story. That's why the Bible says we have to believe the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Say, but without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith, when we don't have faith, we cannot please God because faith is uh, uh, faith is what obeying the things of God, obeying what God has asked us to obey without sin. We don't see it. It's invisible. We obey with that sin. Many people want to see before they, they, they obey. They want to see that the church is full before they come. They want to see. No. Faith, you are seen in the spirit. You are seen abundance in the spirit. You are obeying with that sin. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's why the, the Lord told the children of Israel. He told them. Hallelujah. He told them in Exodus, he told them, hallelujah, let's go there. He told them that obey my word, obey my word. He told them that they should obey, hallelujah. He told them, listen, in the book of Exodus 34, that's where it started. I want us to go there and see what the Lord told them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, open our understanding, open our eyes, open our eyes, open our eyes to hear that we come to Deuteronomy 26 so that we can read just one word there and see how it linked with what the man of God has given us this morning. Heji karama sakarama sakarama reka sakarama senderi yabaka seke. I pray that God will touch someone this morning. I pray that the Holy Spirit will open your eyes this morning. I pray that the Holy Spirit will open our eyes this morning to see where it's taking us, to see what is going, how it's going to make it to change our story. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of Glory, began to change my story, began to change my story, change my story, change my story, change my story, change my story story this December. Change my story. Let me not be barren in the name of Jesus. Let this month be a month, hallelujah, of, of divine turnaround. Divine turnaround. God is turning you around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap for yourself. In the name you've come. You wake up this morning with expectation. He said your expectation shall never be cut off. No one will stop you not to do what God has asked you to do. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said that. He said, for I will cast out the nation before thee. 
to change your story. Say, I will cast out the nation before thee, verse 24, and enlarge the boundaries. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will enlarge the borders. Is God speaking? I will enlarge the borders. Neither shall any man desire their land. I will enlarge their borders. That's mm. the changing of story. Mm. So I that enlarge my enlarge borders. Lord, enlarge my borders. Lord, enlarge my borders. Enlarge my borders. Enlarge my border this December. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God desire a sanctuary for you. He said you will take your first foot to the place that he has chosen. To the place that he has chosen. You, you will take your first foot God desire that you should take your foot foot to the place that you are choosing that it will enlarge your borders. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, enlarge my borders. Hallelujah. I want to obey you, Lord. I want to obey your word. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. He say, no man shall desire the lamb that shall go up to appear before the Lord. This is the obedience. Go up to appear before the Lord their God. Hallelujah. Three times a year. That was that was what they were doing. They were going up three times a year in the tabernacle, in the sanctuary, in the house of God to appear, not empty-handed, not empty-handed. And said, so that shall not, he said, therefore, the first of the fruit of their land, the things that when God brought me here, God did not bring me here. He didn't bring me here for by mistake. No, you are coming, you are being in Coventry is not an error. It's not a, it's not a coincidence. It's not a chance. I, as the people of the world say, it's a chance. No, it's not a chance. It's not a luck. People of the world say it's a luck. It's luck. Thank God, let your luck shine. No, it's not a luck. It's the divine purpose of God to bring me here in Coventry. It's the divine purpose of God. So, devil, Lord brought me here. He said, the first fruit of their land that thou shalt bring unto the house of their Lord, their God, and thou shalt not see a king of his mother's man. Hallelujah. He said, and the Lord said unto me, write down this word, and after the tenor of their word, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord, for your covenant that you made with me. I am the spiritual Israel. Why you enlarge my border? Pray that prayer, Father. Enlarge my border because we are in the better covenant. We are in the better covenant. We are in the better covenant in Christ by the blood of Jesus, not the covenant that were made by by the by the blood of the animals. But now this covenant has been made by the blood of Jesus by a living sacrifice, by the sacrifice that Jesus paid in the cross of Calvary. So we are in the better covenant. Say so the covenant that I made with you. So I will enlarge your borders. I will enlarge your borders. So therefore, Lord, enlarge our borders. New opportunity. Before then, we have to obey. We bury disobedient. We bury disobedient. We bury disobedient. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bury disobedient. He said, now, Lord, listen. Now, Lord, I have found grace. If I have found grace, if I have found grace, in their sight, oh Lord my God, I pray thee, go among us. I say, God will go among us. The Lord will be among us. Exodus 34, verse 9. He says, since we have found grace in the sight of God, this prayer is finding grace. We have found grace in the sight of God. Lord, be among us. As you are in the fountain of a Agape Mission Center, yes, this is the place that God has destined for you to come and pay your first fruit and bring your first fruit. He said, bring, bring. He didn't even say pay. He said, bring. It means he is the one that gave him to you. When someone said, bring to me, it means I've given you something to keep. So I'm asking you back. He said, bring your first fruit in my house where I have ordained you to be. Bring that first fruit. So therefore, to be obedient obedient and remove every border every border of discouragement we pray that god we bring we will bring the first fruit in the house of god this december that's the first key that we're going to bury we're going to bury the spirit of disobedience this december the first key is to bury the grave of disobedience then we take out the key of obedience and open the storehouse 
open the storehouse, open the doors of the storehouse and get in there and possess the land. He said it will enlarge our boundaries. It will enlarge our borders. I cannot wait to see God enlarging my borders. I'm seeing God enlarging your border this, this morning. I'm seeing God, just the fact that you have been connected this morning. Last week we didn't say about anything about bringing first fruit or being obedient or that God will change us. It means this is a divine word from the altar of God. This word is from the altar of the Holy Spirit. So therefore I pray that your faithfulness, O oh Lord, through the giving, pray this prayer, your faith, my, that faithfulness, the faithfulness of God, O oh Lord, through my giving of tithe and my first fruit, hallelujah, is the major key for me to receive my blessing. It is the major key for you to receive your blessing. Father, help me because the enemy, the robbers, the robbers, the thief, the Bible says the thief cometh not only to steal, only to steal, only to, to destroy, to kill and to steal and to kill. He come and not. He enter by force. Say, Lord, I will not listen to the voice. I'm not going to listen to the voices of the enemy. That will tell me, don't take it. So, oh, you have a lot of beers. You have a lot of problems. You've got a lot. If you give your first fruit, huh? yeah, my son, that you are missing. If you give your first fruit in the house of God, if you take your money uh, or anything to give in the house of God, what are you going to pay your bill? That is the voice of the enemy. Anytime you hear that voice, you rebuke it. Say in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I rebuke you, armed robbers. I rebuke you, thieves in my life. I command you, carry your baggage and go in the name of Jesus. One sister surprises me. She really surprises me because she hears from the Lord. As she comes in the house of God, her first salary, I ask, what is she? Myself, my faith was small. She brings it as a first fruit. That is the first fruit. The first gift, first fruit. Say so when she took it, God says, "We, well, you know, I was telling my husband, if the Holy Spirit tell you to do something, do it. Don't resist Do it. Don't wait. Because God is about, when he said, bring Take it to the house of the Lord and pray it. That's why you're blessing it. And no, the enemy is robbing us. It's robbing us through our disobedience, through our greed, through our greed, through our stinginess. It's robbing us. We we'll look at that money. It's too precious. It's too big. We say no, but that is where God wants to use us. God wants to use that thing to bless. It's a point of contact. For God to release his blessing to us. That thing is a point of God. The lady just brought it. Said, this is, she never touched one penny. Brought it in the house of God. And I pray that if you are the one doing that, taking your first foot in the house of the Lord, God will meet you. This December, you will never be disappointed. The Lord will enlarge your blessing. He will enlarge your boundary. He will enlarge your boundary. I need to have my blessing. I want to have my blessing. I am expecting my blessing to be enlarged. Hallelujah. It will give you new opportunity, new relationship, new friends. Hallelujah. It will bless you in an abundant way that you will not know because of divine grace. Grace has found me. Say grace has found me this morning. Hallelujah. Grace has found me and I have to obey that we're not going to be anxious. He said, do not be anxious of anything. But in everything with thanksgiving, let make their request to the Lord. Make your request mm -hmm. to the Lord. Make known to the Lord. Let your request be made known, according to King James. Be made known to God. Hallelujah. With everything with thanksgiving. So begin to thank God. Because God is about to do something. If you are not blessed this December or January that we are crossing over, beloved, the fourth is not the fault of God. No, the fault is not God. The fault is our fault because we have been disobedient. That's why the Bible said, Moses said, these stiff-necked stick -neck children, they don't listen to the voice of God. And he prayed. He said, God, have mercy. Let your grace find me. Hallelujah. I pray this morning that the grace of God will find you. The grace of the Lord will find you this morning in the name of Jesus and also in the book of Deuteronomy 28. That our main verses is 
Deuteronomy 28, the main verses of our Lord is, he said, the Lord says that, and the priest shall take, he said what? He said, take the first fruit, go to the priest, go unto the priest, that, go unto the priest, that, 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 in that day, and say unto him, I possess this day unto the Lord. Mara, masa, rama, seke, ria, baka, seke. I profess this day, I profess this day unto the Lord. This is my first fruit. I profess this day unto the Lord. Hallelujah. That I am come unto this country which the Lord swore unto my fathers. I am here because the Lord swore unto my father Abraham that I am going to be here. Don't forget, we are the children of Abraham. Yes, your father may give, may bring you biologically, but let me tell you, you are, the, you are, you are a child of Abraham. Father, our father Abraham is our father, the father of faith. He said, when our, he swore to our fathers, he swore to Abraham that I'm going to be. When my mother conceived me and I was born, my father, my if my mother is going to be with the Lord, if you tell her now I'm in this place, she will say, who, told, who took her there? How did she manage to go in that country? I don't have any family. My God, because I am a descendant of Abraham. Mare Kasakari Amaseke, you're being in this country. Country. Your being in this city is not an accident. It's not a coincidence. It's not a chance. It's the divine plan of God. It's the divine plan of God. That's why the Lord brought you here. So he said he will enlarge your boundary. He will enlarge your territory. He said make room. Make room. Stretch your faith. Say I stretch my faith. Make room to your heart. Make room. Hallelujah. Make room to your heart. Stretch your say, Lord, yes, Father, I believe your word. I stand by your word. Let your word, hallelujah, grow in my heart. In the name of Jesus, let your heart, let your word grow in my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I believe it and I stand by it and i know that what you have spoken it will surely come to pass be ready be ready for an increase be ready for god increase be ready beloved be ready be ready for god increase hallelujah god is about to release he's about to release into your life divine increase this may this december as you make up your mind to obey god says you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the fruit of the land. This is the this is the this is the principle of God. If you are willing, say I am willing, I am willing, you shall eat the fruit of the land. We shall eat the fruit of this land. Yes, we shall eat the fruit of this land. We am going to eat the fruit of this land. The Egyptian will not maltreat me anymore. The Egyptian will never maltreat me. He said the Egyptian even and treating and treating the children of Israel. They maltreated them. They put them. They afflicted them. They put them in bondage. They put bondage upon them. I, I strip myself. I lose myself from every bondage that the Egyptian, Egyptian who are they? They're, 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 they're those friends that they will never cancel you for good. They will always tell you bad, always tell you discouragement, negativity. Those are the Egyptians. The, everything that is bad is good. They will turn it to be bad. Those are the Egyptians. They will never appreciate what someone is doing to them. Never appreciate what someone has done to them. That person is an Egyptian. They never appreciate anything. Those are Egyptians. I say, Lord, I cut off myself with any Egyptian. I root myself from any Egyptian that is coming. It coming to me. It's coming to me. I lose myself in the name. I say the Egyptian entreated them. They put them into bondage. They maltreated them. They put them in hardship. Yes, when you are thinking, when someone is bombarding your head with negativity, sickness bombarding your head with negativity, anxious, anxiety, it's an Egyptian. Say, I come against that Egyptian. Right now, in the name of, I come against Egyptian in my mind. I come against a spirit. I come against it in the name of Jesus. He said, those shall go into the house of the Lord. Present this offering, the first offering to the priest and profess the day. Profess the day. That this is the day that I have professed. I have given this day to the Lord. Hallelujah. You've given this hour to the Lord. Profess the day. And then when I cry unto the Lord of our Father, the Lord hear our voice. Verse 7. Therefore, when you cry, when you profess the day, you brought the first fruits in the altar and give 
Maria Makasande. I cannot wait to go to the house of the Lord and go to the priest and give this day and give and give my offering. He said, when you do it like that, the Lord will hear your voice. The Lord will hear our voice. When we obey God and do what God has asked us to do, he will, and obey, he will hear our voice and he will look down on our affliction. I pray this morning that may God look down on your affliction and your labor and your oppressor. May the Lord look down and set you free, set us free from our affliction, from our oppression, from um, those uh, hard labor. May He look down on us because we have obeyed His word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord brought us out forth from the house of Egyptian in with His mighty hand. Let the mighty hand of God be upon you. Verse 8, let the mighty that's prayer. That, that's prayer. When Moses is speaking, he's speaking the word of God. The Lord brought me out from the hands of Egyptian that is what we have to say. Every day, God, you brought me out from darkness. You brought me out from a family that did not know you. And you bring me into your life for, for me to eat. Eat bountifully in your house. The mighty man, the mighty, with his mighty hand and with an outreach, outreach arm. By force, he took us. We didn't want to, but the power of the Holy Ghost. We didn't mean it. The power of the Holy Ghost. We reach you where you are right now. We need the hand of God, the outreach of God to remove us, hallelujah, from that affliction, from that bondage, from that bondage. Let the mighty hand of God take us out from that bondage. Listen, the children of God did not want to go out from Egypt. They were turning around. They were turning around. Moses, it, it took time with, for Moses and Aaron to take them out. That's why some of us, we are turning around. We are turning around, going in the darkness, coming back, doing turning. This month, I pray that it will not be a portion. Turning around, turning around will not be a portion. God is turning. It will not be. You make a U-turn forever. U-turn forever and ever. You will not be turning around. You will not be the, 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 turning around in the spirit of confusion. I come against it this morning in the name of Jesus. Going around, around, around. It's a spirit of confusion. Pray that prayer. I ban you in my life. You demon of confusion. Making me to be turning around. I Find you, I command you, get out for my life. This this month, this day, this morning, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God is saying, going to the land. I'm taking you to the land that honey and milk are flowing. You are turning around. You are turning around. You are turning around. I call it a confusion spirit. God just reveal to me now. It's a confusion. But it's a make a U-turn. U-turn. Massacre. I'm a sender. Make a U-turn. And he brought me out in this place that had given us this land. He has brought me here that he has given me the land. He said, therefore, now, behold, I have brought the first fruit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot see. I'm seeing someone running to his church, running to your place, running to your pastor with your first fruit. I'm seeing somebody running, running, running with your first fruit. They have brought them. I have brought them. But it's not me inventing. It's in verse 10. In the, in the past that the, the man of God has given us Deuteronomy 26. He said, when the Lord turned me around, he delivered me. I brought the first fruit. I took the first fruit. I have brought the first fruit of the land. The first fruit don't, the first fruit of the land. The first, <laughs> man, yama, yama, yama. People have made me say, but you can redeem me this month. You have eaten your first fruit. It's not taking <laughs> one week ago. The first fruit, the money that they paid you in that land, You've eaten it. It's not yours. It is for the Lord. It is not your money. If you have eaten it, you have to repent. That's why Moses prayed for repentance. You've eaten it. God is about to do it. <laughs> faith. 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 Without faith, it's impossible to please God. God, God, God Almighty, help us. You've eaten the first food, so therefore repent. Repent, say, Lord, I repent. I've eaten my for I've eaten your I repent. I love God. If it is uh, if it is inner revenue, you will pay everything. But God just when you repent that day, you just bring back the one you have eaten, you bring back the one that they has given you. God have mercy, yes. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. The first fruit is holy, it is holy as the people worship God. Bringing the first fruit is a holy offering, beloved. It's holy. It is, oh my God. I love some of our brothers. 
of another part of the world, I mean, another African country, I love them. They will never eat their first food. Even though they are dying hungry, they give it to the Lord. Maraca, and that's why they are blessed. That's why God is multiplying them. That's why they are blessed. They are rich because they obey the word of God. No matter the bill piling, they will pay their, they will take their first fruit. They understood that their first fruit is for God. I love those, my brothers. They challenge God with their giving. They challenge God with not eating. And God will open doors, put them divine connection everywhere. Father, in the name of Jesus, may I not eat my first fruit this year? May I not eat my first fruit? Yes, may I not eat my first fruit? God is about to do something great with hallelujah where bless it will bless us abundantly king solomon honored the lord with the substance and he was blessed with wisdom with wisdom with limestone with money with gold hallelujah this is the appointed time god has appointed this day for us to hear this word so therefore as you give him your first fruit offering god wants to re you to rejoice as you give him your first fruit, God wants you to rejoice before him and for every good things because he's about to release his blessing. He's about to release his blessing. He's about to enlarge your territory. He's about to enlarge your territory. He's about to say, I will enlarge your body. Father, Lord, I pray for someone. Yes, maybe it might be the spirit of ignorance. Maybe it's just an error. But as we are redeeming our, we are redeeming it, Father, we pray that we will not stop. Hallelujah. We pray that you do, you increase us, you increase us as we release our first fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way, King of glory. Have your way, everlasting Father, for what you are doing in our life. I pray this morning that we're going to open our ears to be obedient to your word, that the armed robbers will not rob us again. Armed robbers, armed robbers, devil will send armed robbers to come and see. I pray this morning for someone that is listening to me, that God will do something in your life as you make a U-turn, not turning around. No good. In, in the name of Jesus. May the Lord, you know, we need a divine, divine revelation to obey God. We need a divine, if you don't have revelation, you will not obey him. We need a divine revelation. Or what we are saying, if you don't have revelation in it, you will never do it. But you need the divine revelation. What God has done, what Jesus did in the cross. He said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him will not perish. He gave his only begotten son to the world. He gave, you need a divine revelation to know why, why God gave his only belonging son to the world. If we don't have that revelation, even coming to church is a problem. Even giving our tithe will be a problem. Anything we're doing will be a problem. We'll be doing it with constraint. We'll be doing it as if someone is pushing us. No, we need a divine revelation. The Father, open my ears to know your divine revelation, to listen to your voice. When they say the Lord hear our voice and he came down and rescued us, it was divinely revealed to them. Divinely revealed. And that's why they took the first fruit to the house of God. Okay. We must be divinely revealed so that God will, reveal, will give us, hallelujah, what he has asked us to do. He said, your expectation shall not be cut off. No, no one. Your expectation shall never be cut off. Hallelujah. Because you have presented your life, your life, your sacrificial time, your time, your first, it's your first fruit first. First fruit. It's your first fruit. You need divine revelation, beloved. We need divine revelation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank God for your life. Tomorrow is another day. This evening we'll have Bible studies. Tomorrow morning, please do not absent. Do not miss this prayer. That's where it started. Divine revelation. Divine revelation started with little obedience. Do not miss our prayer this month. Because God is about to do something great, mm. hallelujah, in our life. We are about to celebrate and praise God on the 31st. We're going to celebrate because many testimonies are going to burst out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. May you be raised up by the voice of God. 
May the Lord raise all your jobs. May the Lord bring you in the place that you will be happy. May the of good opportunity, new opportunity, our family being protected under the canopy of God. May we dwell in the house of God. May God prepare a table in front of our enemy this December. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can see someone dancing. I will not leave this platform without telling you that I'm watching wherever you're watching. You've not given your life to Jesus. I would like to use this opportunity to tell you, give your life to Jesus. Come into the house of God. Give your life to Jesus and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you as I am. I come to you. Forgive me. I've heard that you went to the cross of Calvary. I heard your word today that you went to the cross for to forgive the whole world. Forgive me and wash me with your precious blood because I have sinned against you. I have disobeyed your word. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for that person. I pray for that lady. I pray for that man. You are saved. And right now, look for a Bible and begin to. If you got the Bible, read the 28. Read it. Read it and meditate on it. Read at uh, 26. Read, you can even start from chapter 1. Read everything and meditate on it. You will know what God is planning to do in our life. I love reading one book all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. God bless you. May God bless you. May God keep you and let the power of God be upon you this morning. As you go to work, may the power of God be upon you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Bye-bye. We love you all. Connect this evening. Bible studies, 6.30. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.